Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to update firmware on your Brooks product, specifically the Super Converter. Let's get started. So what I have here is a PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 to Nintendo Switch Converter. It allows me to use a PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 controller on the Nintendo Switch. Sometimes the Nintendo Switch has a system update which makes this converter not work. In that case, I have to update the firmware on this converter to make it compatible again with a Nintendo Switch. So the first thing that you want to do is head over to the website www.brookaccessory.com. I'll leave a link in the description and I'll actually leave a link to this download page right here where you can see everything. So since this is a Nintendo Switch product, I'm going to hit the Nintendo Switch button and I can see two different converters, PS3, PS4 to Switch Edition, as well as Xbox 360 to Xbox One Switch Edition. Now, since this is a PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4 Switch converter, I'm going to want the latest firmware. And it says here the latest firmware was November 2017. So the next step is to download the firmware. All you have to do is just click on the green icon under PC, since I am using a PC, and download it. It does not look like there is a Mac version at this time. The download itself is a total of three megabytes. So I've extracted the file here that downloaded. It was a .zip file, so you do have to extract it. And it left me with this, a meta folder and a exe file. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the .exe file. See what happens. So here we go, firmware update, the latest version, version 1.0.3. Plug converter into PC and connect your controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this converter into my PC. I'm gonna go ahead and click start. And now it says updating, do not remove the controller. During the process of the update, my green light on the side of the converter itself flickered, um, but it looks like it's all done. So I've got the complete with the check mark and firmware successfully updated. And that's it. Now I'm good to remove the converter and use it with the Nintendo Switch. Thanks everyone. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, please leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. If I can't answer them, I'll also do my best to reach out to Brooke themselves and see if they can help you out. Thank you everyone. Take care.